Europe was never isolated from the rest of the world. Europe started um, connected to the Middle East and learned from the Middle East, learned uh, techniques of agriculture, learned religion because Christianity uh, was born in the Middle East, um, learned technologies from China, powder and printing press, uh, learned and recovered the legacies of the Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire through the Muslim world uh, and recovered many texts from, from the uh, Greek and Roman worlds through the Muslim world. Uh, so Europe was always in dialogue uh, and then the European expansion uh, obviously brought with it new empires, brought with it wars, brought with it devastation. But Europe learned from other countries there is, in the middle of all this devastation, there was self-criticism from the very beginning. Uh, even with the Crusades, the Crusaders admired um, Saladin. Uh, there are uh, many stories celebrating Saladin in Europe. And then uh, with the um, expansion, uh, you have this self-criticism clearly with Montaigne and other authors uh, talking about the cannibals and saying that we always consider the others, we European always consider the others as the cannibals, but we practice it and uh, we can we practice it even worse in the name of religion when he was thinking about the uh, St. Bartholomew's massacre in, in France and he was thinking about Inquisition also. So, the idea is that while there was a ritual in, uh, in other continents, uh, in Europe it was practiced. So, this reflection means that also uh, the experience of devastation the Europeans uh, brought to other parts of the world implied a certain level of self-criticism, which was there. So, the Europeans all, were also uh, learning from the pro protests and the resistance and criticism from other countries in other continents. And you have other books like uh, Fernão Mendes Pinto, uh, the book on uh, which title could be tra translated as uh, The Pilgrimage, um, written in the late 16th century, uh, and um, reproduces the indignation and the criticism of Asian rulers against the plunder of the Portuguese and uh, the practices at sea of the Portuguese. So, in all these cases you have this constant interaction and nowadays what Europe can learn is uh, from uh, something that Europe lost. Uh, the practices of um, collective aid, collective assistance, mutual assistance, the practice of, practices of community. Uh, we are uh, um, lost in uh, individualism. Uh, and uh, this radical change of the um, economic background and uh, the economic possibilities, which are, is there, it's not in the long, for the long future. You will have the impact of robotics, you have the major unemployment, uh, you have a complete system of, uh, of moderate debt which will arrive at a collapse, uh, you will have heavy debt, uh, and so the system will not be sustainable in the future. And uh, we will need to relearn uh, communitarian practices, we need to relearn uh, mutual aid, and, uh, and we have plenty in, uh, in the Americas, for instance, in South America. We have uh, also in parts of Africa, you have in Asia uh, uh, many forms of communitarian organization that uh, can uh, help the Europeans to renew with, uh, with a sense of uh, 
of humankind with this sense of, uh, of survival of the species also because we are destroying the environment. So we, we can relearn with, uh, uh, with traditional, what were called traditional societies, uh, this very deep humane form uh, forms of um, uh, dealing with the environment, respecting the environment and preparing the future.